Look, Mac does the damage act. We have Gunslinger, Suicidal, Ashwood Asylum. Every time I let the, the game just pick a random map for me, this is the one we get. Every single time, without fail. Well, not every time, but most of the times, it's actually Ashwood Asylum. Look, every time that we play Ashwood Asylum, well, almost every time, it's it's random. I let the game just pick a map for me, and, and this is the one that it picks. Almost every single time that we play it. And we play it quite often, and that's... How often I let it do, uh, about how often I let it do the random thing to it. It's, it's, it's crazy. I think it's weighted, man. I think it's weighted. Either way, it's not a bad map. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. It's not my favorite map, but it's 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 uh, it's up there, I think. I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been playing it a lot more, and I've been getting more used to it, and uh, learning my way around a little bit better. And I, uh, I think it's, it's okay, you know? So we had the episode where I talked to my, my feminine voice. Uh, it hasn't gone up yet. I don't know when it goes up. Uh, the backlog, like I said in the last episode, is getting uh, pretty good right now. It's my birthday still. Again, not my favorite day of the year, but honestly, as negative as I was in the last episode about my birthdays, I don't mind it so much. It's not like I dread the day that it happens. I'm not I'm not sitting on September 9th like, man, tomorrow's going to suck so much. It's more of the, the whole experience around uh, my birthdays that just kind of brings me down because I don't really view it as very important, and then other people do, and I have to put in a whole bunch of effort to make them happy about uh, celebrating my birthday, and I'm just like, I would rather just, like, ignore it and just live my life, personally. But we're going to we're gonna end the... Uh, the birthday rants today, I think. And uh, hop on to... I don't know when the video is going to go live. I don't know what day it is uh, today, as of the time of this video being uploaded. What I do know is that uh, I'm okay with the video uh, where I spoke with the feminine voice, so it is going to be live. Uh, it wasn't a perfect voice. Like I've, I've listened back to it a couple of times now. And it wasn't a perfect voice. Uh, there was there was definitely some drops in it. Uh, there were bits where they were where the voice was better, bits where it was worse. Um, you know, things to work on. But I liked doing it. I thought it was I think it was a good uh, experience to have done. I think that it was good for practice. And honestly, I can even go back to the voice a little bit easier now. Now with my throat being a little bit like worn out right now, I'm not sure how it affects my voice, but it does definitely make it different. And I can kind of just go back to it whenever I want. And it's like pretty confident I can just kind of sit in this now, which is like a, a big difference from what I was doing before. Uh, but there is definitely more work to be done on it. But having that practice was definitely pretty good. So uh, I think we're at a good point in, uh, in my life where I might be able to switch to it permanently. I might be able to talk to my parents with this voice even. I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, there's there's work to be done. Work to be done. So I, I don't know where the work goes. You know, I don't know where the, the what what's left to do. And it's, uh... Pasta, pasta. Nah, I don't know. I thought there was a clot following us. <gasps> oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, so, if you guys, uh... Have seen that episode. Uh, if you haven't... It's gonna be titled, um... Feminine. Probably uh, go check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, I would I would greatly appreciate feedback if, if you've given me feedback on the episode uh, I suspect that some people would have already especially people who are watching that episode and then also watching all of this episode I think that most people like that would have already said hey Nice, you know because I get comments on videos fairly frequently um, But uh, God these 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 bloats are so good at blocking my bullets man too late. You you let your you let your guards down. You messed up, man. Uh, but if you have if you haven't left any feedback, if you haven't seen the episode or whatever, uh, please do. Like please 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 do. I would love 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 feedback on uh, on the voice in that episode. It would be unbelievably useful for me personally. Oh, I wish I could have got your. Headshots there, though, you know, would have been much, much, much nicer to have gotten a headshot on that. You get a... Guess we'll never know. Guess we'll never know. Do I get my, uh... No, I don't. Has to be a shot. I wonder if I got the, the rack-em-ups with, uh, with bashes. The bash. But you don't, you don't. See, I would love, 
love love to get some feedback on the uh, on the voice there if uh, if you're into it if you're not then you know, don't worry about it and uh, if you happen to know any uh, speech pathologists send them the video that'd be sweet too I'd be shocked I'd be shocked I say shocked I say um, but yeah I want uh, I, I, I just I don't know where to go man it's uh, it's hard it's we're getting there I'm like I'm making huge 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 strides um, and once I'm done I'm definitely gonna put together a video uh, detailing I have to squeak my chair a little bit because I have to adjust my seating arrangement here um, once once I'm at a, a point in my life where where I have a voice that I'm satisfied with and I'm confident in uh, I will definitely make a video showcasing how I personally went through the process of of making it work and, and what I personally think uh, helped me and what uh, what things I liked to focus on to make it work and, and how I practiced and and how I changed it and and, and and the resources I used, and etc., and etc., et for, for anybody else that might be coming along to, to try and go through a similar thing that I went through. Cause, um, I mean, my voice has gone from, like, a pretty deep point to, I mean, like, a pretty high point, and it's, like, an incredible difference. And I think that that's going to be a motivator for a lot of people, just to be able to see, like, the incredible difference between, like, this and then, like, this. Like, there's, just, there's just so much of a difference. It's incredible. But uh, I want to be... Not a role model, but uh, inspiration, I suppose. Motivation. I want to show people that uh, no matter how you know, bad your voice might be to begin with, um, a it's it's okay to continue using that and and thriving in in your in your field of choice. If if talking is what you want to do, it's okay to to change your voice. Um, ooh, hello. And a B. Um, that no matter how deep your voice gets, that no matter how far down your deep voice can go, no matter how far down your voice goes, you can bring it all the way up here if you want to. It's okay. And I think that's going to be a, a help for, for some trans people, perhaps. Uh, it's going to be probably not the start of my blog necessarily, but maybe. I don't know. We don't have flesh pounds. We have quarter pounds. They're very different. Thank you very much. I know there's something behind me. That is behind people until not anymore, dog. Did the Iron Man stream today on uh, on RuneScape's Thursday today, September 10th. Uh, RuneScape stream, Iron Man stream. It's good fun, fun, good fun. Nobody saw the fight. We're getting, we're not getting viewers in the stream anymore. Um, not really. We got a couple of people in yesterday for Death's Gambit, which was pretty cool. Got some advice from that, uh, which was nice. Not really getting people watching the stream, though. I'm not sure what I can be doing. I know the best option is obviously stick with RuneScape. Stick with RuneScape. If I stick with RuneScape, I will build an audience. If I stick with Death's Gambit, I will build an audience. If I stick with, uh, you know, Killing Floor 2 or Gunfire Reborn or, you know, whatever. If I have a game that I play and that I excel at, and I do that thing and then that thing only... I will grow naturally as people come by and they check out the channel and they see me in the same place every time at the same day, you know, every, every day at the same time. And that will continue to grow my channel naturally and uh, it'll be really, really good for me. I'm not doing that because I don't want to. And uh, I have to think of different ways to advertise myself, to market myself because I want to do what I want to do, which is unconventional by, by a huge, to like a huge degree. Um, not really super unconventional, because, you know, a few other streamers, there are variety streamers, of course. I'm not the only variety streamer in the world, um, but I, I, I am in a, a unique position where I stream five days a week, three hours a day, and never play the same game twice in a week, you know? Uh, and I'm, I'm solo the entire time, you know? Like, uh, well, not solo the entire time. I did have uh, some people on Tuesday. There were some people there, and... Uh, that was pretty good. Right here. Yeah, it was, uh... Good, I suppose. It, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I wanna... I have to maybe try and think about, like, uh... Collabs with people. 
um, reaching out to other streamers, watching streamers on Twitch, talking to them, and, and getting them to, to follow me through through talking to them, and then Mark mentioning that I also stream, and blah, 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 you know, when it comes up naturally in, in conversation, and, and genuinely be interested in other people, and in following them, and, and watching them, and that's, that's, you know, the networking kind of thing, right, like the... That kind of stuff is, is obviously going to be good for me. I don't want to do it, though. I don't really have the time to watch Twitch. I don't really have the desire to watch Twitch. I just have the desire to stream on it, so it's... Um, Y'all yeah, have to find some way to, to advertise it, to market it anyway, because at the moment, I don't have any way to do it. And that's a big problem, honestly. Hi. Hi. His face is not super weak. Oh my god, I'm not. I've not hit his face once. I've hit. It, I've hit his face twice, three times, five times now. Where's he gone? I saw you. I saw the flicker. I saw the flicker, dude. You can't. You can't keep that flicker from me. Blow your butt off. Yeah, let's figure it out. I'll have to try some things. Networking. Um. See if I can find somewhere to market myself. See if I can do events or something like that that might uh, be uh, that I can advertise at places, giveaways and stuff like that. I don't really want to get into the giveaway thing so much, but um, I put birthday stream in the title today, hoping maybe that would bring in some users to say, "Hey, happy birthday!" It didn't work. I don't like. I don't really care about my birthday, but I was hoping maybe I could <laughs> use it as a <laughs> as a uh, as a marketing play, but it didn't work. Didn't really expect it to work too well, but yeah, we're not really getting viewers. We're not getting viewers. Yeah, it's a problem. It is. It is a problem. It is a problem, and uh, I have to figure out a way to do it. I have to figure out a way to, to, to market it. I, don't, I have no idea right now. Like no idea. Um, I want to see if I can get onto uh, to like a, a, a like a, just a rotator thing, like on Twitch subreddit or something like that. But I don't know. Maybe there's a smaller thing or see if there's like a, a twitch like a, a subreddit sort of conglomerate that uh shows different twitch streamers and stuff like that and um for for runescape anyway and then like for the other games as well because i also do monster hunter and uh death's gambit i stream and maybe i'll join the discord there and then see if uh people can join me for that um i mean if i join the discord and there aren't too many people in it then me just being in that discord I'm streaming, it would show that I'm streaming, and that might be useful as well, of course. Down you go. So, smack, there, smack! Oh, you almost got me, dude! You almost got me, dude! You almost had me! You almost had me, dude! It's hot, man. Can't wait until we're coming up. It's almost—it's like mid-September here. We're coming up into fall. It's gonna be a few more months until we're like particularly cold, but I am. So looking forward to it. And the other thing is, like, when you're fat, like I am, um, heat is worse. Cold is better. Just it's just natural because you have more like thermal mass, you know. So when you're when you're warmed up, you stay hot longer and you can't cool down as much. You have more surface area to cool down with a fan or something like that. But that's not nearly as impactful as like just you're burning more calories. You have uh, more mass to, to move and and everything you do, you you generate more heat as a fat person. Just existing, and um, as a as a as a healthier person, you, you generate far less heat, which is why it's easier to lose weight when you're heavier. You know, uh, outside of the, the the motivational problems, just from a, a physics standpoint, going from like 140 to 130 is way harder than going from 540 to 530 because you just you you have to eat at a bigger deficit, or you have to eat at the same deficit, but um. As a as a like 540 pound person, you know, eating at a 500 like eating eating at a deficit to lose like 530 pounds means reducing your diet by like a smaller percentage because you're naturally eating more. You know what I mean? Anyway, it's uh, it's all about that. Uh, anyway, it's hot, and uh, by the winter time, it'll be cool, and then by next summer, I will have lost a lot of weight. So I will have the advantage in being, that's right, nice, and uh, cooled in the um, summer as well. As cool as you can be, it's still hot. You know, it's still 
I just blew that. I meant to switch, and I accidentally clicked my gun. So, oops. <laughs> I'll have the I'll have the advantage of, uh, of of heat there, the thermal advantage, which would be nice. That'd be nice for sure. But that's not right now. That's next year, dude. That's next year, man. It's a ways away. Look forward to next year a lot. My next birthday is going to be probably the, the next birthday. It's the one birthday I kind of look forward to because I'll have lost the weight. I'll have had my voice at a good place. My voice is going to be good in like a month, I think, at the most. Uh, if I continue working on it at this rate, I think I'll be using it full time in a month. Probably. Like within a month. Maybe not like a month today. It might not be like, you know, October 10th or something like that. But it could be like October 1st or October 20th. Who knows? I think next month I'll probably be switching full time to the voice though. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll have uh, I'll be living in my own place. Hopefully, I mean, ideally, right? Uh, assuming YouTube goes well, and if YouTube doesn't go well, then I'd I'd hope that uh, I would have realized that early enough to switch over to to something that can get me to a new place by then, because I really don't want to live here for very long. It really, really sucks. Um, and uh, I'll have like a big following on YouTube. You know, ideally, it's the plan. I'll have like a, a nice Twitch thing going on schedule and like the whole everything that I'm doing will be nice and uh, habitual and it's like every aspect of my life is gonna be so improved by my next birthday that I look forward to it because I'm gonna have so much more control you know what I mean I'm gonna be able to say hey like it'll be the first year where I invite people to my birthday rather than um, they they invite me to my birthday and uh, that excites me because it means that uh, I get to control what happens. It'll be my 26th birthday, the first birthday where I had control over what happens. And uh, that excites me. That excites me to a, to a great extent, honestly, because I've never I've never had that before. And I don't know, it sounds like it'll be fun. Maybe maybe I'll enjoy my birthdays after that. But I have to, have to be at my own place, be independent, and not reliant on uh, my parents, which uh, currently I am, unfortunately. Thank you, COVID. Honestly, if I had moved out, I wouldn't be doing YouTube right now. I mean, I wouldn't be doing it uh, to, to such a huge degree anyway. I certainly wouldn't be investing like seven hours into it every day, which is my current investments, which is, uh, is a lot of time to be investing. Um, and I'm enjoying this a great deal, so I don't know. COVID for me, it inconvenienced me in some ways and, and benefited me in others. And uh, I think that's true for many people. And... As bad as COVID is, and it is bad, Either and this is a it giant would be better for everybody, well, you need ammo. the world as a whole would be better off without it. If we had a cure roll. or something, you know, that would be a vaccine, rather we, we can cure COVID. Just make sure somebody doesn't die, and then they don't die, and then you're, you're, you're cured, woo, let's go. Like, we have no problem with that. Somebody gets COVID, and like the the, the death chance of, uh, of COVID in a, uh, in a country where... The, uh, they took response fairly early, and they have health care, and people aren't, you know, like, being turned down at the hospital and stuff. Like, that's kind of, you get COVID, you're probably fine. Most people are living in that situation. The problem is that a lot of countries, like America and, um, I think New Zealand at this point, even? Maybe? Canada's getting there, even? Um, but like, uh, here, boys and girls? you either can't get a doctor because A, there's too many people infected now because, um, you didn't take action early enough or you, you let off the action too early. Um, or, uh, there's, uh, there's no access to doctors because there's no, you know, health care, which is a, is a big thing to, to keeping your citizens alive. Um... Or, uh, they just ignored it and pretended it didn't exist and everybody died. That's that's where the deaths are happening, right? But if you're in a, like, if I got COVID, I'd, I'd live. My, uh, my parents got COVID, they'd probably live. You know, it's not like uh, we're at risk of death so much. It's, it's Some people are. I'm not saying you're not. I'm saying that me, personally, in my life, not, not risk of death so much. I mean, it could happen, but, like, it's not gonna, you know? technically a possibility 
You know, I could technically get hit by lightning. It's possible, you know. Anyway, I'm not saying that you don't have to worry about COVID. I'm saying that we should be worrying about it to the extent where it's not a problem, which is what I'm doing. And uh, as a result, not a problem. But um, anyway, the, the, the moral of the story there is that uh, while COVID had its drawbacks, uh, at least for me in my situation, it's uh, it's definitely had its you know pull fronts. My worst subject. It's definitely had its boons as well. Uh, since yeah, I'm doing YouTube, I'm streaming, I'm doing all these kinds of things that I wouldn't have had the time to do if I still were working at my uh, my old job, which I don't have anymore. Um, and yeah, I mean it's uh kind of cool to a certain extent. Not that COVID is a good thing, but. Um, at least for me, I think I came out, you know, I, I made the best of a bad situation and I came out on top, I think, so far, and uh, we'll see going forward if it uh, continues to trend in that direction, because if it doesn't, then I'm in a pretty rough situation, honestly, but I think it will. Please, no. I don't want to be part of your electrical circuit. I don't want to be part of your electrical circuit. Smack you, smack you, smack you, smack you. Get, get, get smacked, get smacked, get smacked. Yeah, get smacked. You have all the latest gadgets. Too bad I have a Glock. You ever think about them apples? Think about them apples. You got a Glock. Do you have a Glock on that uh, machine arm of yours? Cause I do. I don't even have to have it on a machine arm. It's just in my hand. I can remove it by just... Boom. It's gone. I should have parried when I brought my knife out. That would have been a good idea, but it doesn't matter. It, it like, it completely doesn't matter, man. We're gonna win anyway. That's all the recording I had to do for today. That's all the recording I had to do for today. That's it, man. That's it, dude. It's done pretty early. It's only like, not even six o'clock, and I'm done my recording for the day. That's crazy. Made some some strides today. <laughs> Streams done. I got the Yamajack tries done. The KF2 episodes are done. Yeah, I'm done. It's nice. It's on the head. I think this video goes up on Saturday morning. I'm gonna call it Saturday morning. So I got three more to record tomorrow for the weekend, which would be... No, it goes up Saturday night. Yeah, it goes up Saturday night, man. Anyway, enjoy your Sunday tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm on the wrong dang scene. Sorry. And I'll see you next time. Uh, what? No. Uh, Thanks for watching. Like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.